Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. I don't care what it is! Just let her go! How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. This is a morgue. There's got to be something in here we can use. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I think I can find a way out somehow. Yeah, there has to be something here that will help. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Oh. <sighs> 
Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! How do we know that? Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Jesus. What are you guys talking about? We thought maybe... with your bite. If we removed it, you might live. I know it's drastic. You think? But what if it works? It might be the only way. What do you think? Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. Ah! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> I know! be able to travel. You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. I don't know. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. It's an extension ladder. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I, I don't know. You came with me. You didn't think I would? Just with all we've been through? It seemed like the only reasonable thing to do. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. You need to get off this roof. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. It leads down to the street. took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The 
bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-arm guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Cause the one-arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far you got this you got this motherfucker Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throat chop! We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. 
So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Worry about the boat after. You can scour the goddamn coast looking for him. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome to. Just calm down for a second. Yeah, chill! We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God! What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. You dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is his who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough of the problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Doug. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, man. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Right. Maybe not. We can secure, secure this place. place. Chris, Krista. Get on the window in the front room. Check the board. Got it. Got it. Kimmy. Look for where we Gather anything you can find. Will do. Do. Big. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Oh me. What is it?
are not good with these. You drop, drop it down there. Glad to have a good gun, Renner. Everyone okay? Lee is still bitten. Shut, shut up. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get out of here. Keep, keep moving. Kit, Kit's right. right. We gotta, we gotta keep, keep moving. moving. Think there's, there's any chance, chance we can land land and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We're, we're, we're not going out through this window. window. No latches, no, latches, no roof, roof access, 30 feet straight, straight, straight down. down. Anyone have, have any ideas? I bet this, this guy would. This guy's got a resource for a little bit about it. Knock, knock it off. Dick, six, six, and Kenneth the third. In the industrial lead? Krista. Just trying to lighten up your tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm so sorry. So, no ideas then. Got gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, bed vent, and anything. Or we, or we wait for the house to clear out to stick to the high ground. Hey, you know you're not looking great. You're warm. I'm okay. okay. Don't hold it. at the hotel, hotel, where her parents were staying, because he hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, yet. We need to start, start thinking about more than just lemon time when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. That we don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How, how do you get, get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I, I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope, hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It, it don't matter. It looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just, just talk, talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting some dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we, we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how, how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will. Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Yeah. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? 
His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. And then everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Yeah, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. The pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bit. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard it outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Might have. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. 
Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. We all could have done more. Myself included. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. window. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do?
Someone's got to stay back. In case. Come on, man. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Okay. I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh. Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee! Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, Ken! No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny! What happened? I, I tried to help. What the fuck happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn! God! I heard a shot. He was fighting them off. Trying to, at least. It... You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me.
We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck! Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Krista, you next. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! It's fucked, Lee! Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. 
What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? 
It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad to. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but 
It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh. 
We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. It's a good thing. Lee, they're dead. They really are. But you know, you're gonna be sad for a very long time. But you know what happened to them. Get you somewhere safe, and just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. I... 
I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. I uh, might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But you wanted to shoot me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them. I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? need to get out of here as soon as you can. I... I can't leave you! Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There's a chair over there. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You are doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Use it to reach in to the lock. Then open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. Be careful. 
Get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Watch out! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! Ha <laughs> ha 